Yes, I know. On your man, yes. you invited into your house yes. his baby mama. Yes. And also your little sister. Why'd you do that? Okay, the baby mama, she was homeless at the time. I'm a kind-hearted person. I'm from the South, so, you know, my grandma always took people in, and I didn't want to see nobody on the street. So I was like, okay, you come know what? In. You come on, you know, His know baby your boundaries, mama. though. His baby. We did have that discussion, so it wasn't like she just came up in my house. No boundaries. You had that, that discussion. You don't touch my man. Oh, you, you did that ahead of time. You said, honey. You, you stay your butt downstairs. I bet I catch you upstairs. There's a bathroom in the kitchen down there. That's all you That's need. That's it. That's it. That's all. Okay, the first thing with my sister is I come home from work, I go to my room, she's laying in my bed butt naked. I'm like, okay, mind you, she had Where was your man room. when she was butt naked? In the shower that's in our master bedroom. Yes, the covers all pulled back, all rumpled up and everything. You know, I'm not slow now. Come on now. This is. <laughs> this, freshness is for bread, not for sex. Exactly. All right, now. But this is suspicious, but it's not. Conclusive proof, right? It is conclusive it proof is. for me. Your man denied it. He in the shower, butt naked, washing his butt. She laying in that bed, three, four steps from that bathroom. Why are you in my room? What did she say? What did your she sister? She said I fell asleep and I just. Why in my bed naked, naked with all your clothes off, breasts just swinging everywhere. Come on now. So you're thinking that your man is sleeping with your little sister, yes, who's I only do. 19 years old. Yep. And also his baby mama yes. in your bed. In my bed but so or wherever they be at. This is how I did, because I was curious. This is how it happened. I was curious. You know how you try to give somebody a little bit to see they tell on themselves. Yeah, so I was like, um, so yeah, he told me about y'all sleeping on 438 or how hot the y'all was together. I mean, I'm cool with it. I just I wanna know how it happened. She was like, well, he came downstairs and I was like, oh no, she ain't. No, she ain't about to tell on herself. I said, uh-huh, girlfriend, what? And now, now also, honey, Nicole, the baby mama, might be four months pregnant. Yep, that's what she told me. But yeah, but your man, your man denies it all. He denies everything. Why you believe in him? I you I love you, baby. You supposed to believe I me. believe this man. Come I on, believe now, I ain't dumb. He took a lie detector <laughs> test, right? Yep, and I'm ready for them results. I don't want to know is she pregnant or not. Too. What do you do if you find out, honey, he's sleeping with his baby mama and your little sister? Oh, all them, it's, it's snow in Ohio, honey. He better make you an igloo and get to sleeping. Because you ain't going to be sleeping up in my house. That's right. what you're not going to do. Please. That's what you're not going to do. Please welcome Paulina's fiance, Joshua. Joshua, come on out. Playing with truth. yourself, Come man. Come sit it down. Sit it down. Sit, sit down, down, Joshua. Sit real close. I All want the right. truth Thank now. You. What about these allegations of you in the shower, I assume buck naked, and her little sister lying in bed, buck naked, and the sheets all ruffled around? What are the allegations? <laughs> the devil's a lie. The, oh, okay. the devil is a lie. What, let Come me hear from you. Right. What happened? What, what happened that day? Nothing, man. Thank you. Nothing? She was in the house, um, and um, she was... Um, sleeping? Yeah. Come on, yeah. Kenny, you get it out. She was laying asleep. down. She was asleep, and you said Naked you, you while I was upstairs. And you didn't want to wake her up. Washing up. So she's exactly. sleeping. So and then, said, I'll take a quiet shower, and I'll wash myself before she even wakes up. Isn't that what happened? <laughs> what? Well, Kenny, got no yeah, like, you got no it's word. Kenny, got no word. It's all bull, man. It's all bull. I understand on, out of the goodness of Paulina's heart, she brings in your baby mama who's homeless, and now she might be four months pregnant? How you pregnant when your two is though, bro? You, you got the fallopians. Explain that, What's though, your language? So that you're saying she can't but, be pregnant? No. Can't be. How do you know no, her sir. tubes are tied? She had them tied. Because he was all ago. No. She been, I'm telling us, for the last... Three years, bro. Her tooth she can't is get tied. pregnant. Burn. Guess what? We gave her a pregnancy sir. test today too. We're gonna oh, find yes, out. Oh yes, let's know. And, okay. uh, and Lashawn, you say? My face ain't pregnant. Did you tell my producer her little sister Lashawn is a hoe? Did you say that? Yeah. Explain why. What do you What do you know about? She's that? a thought, bro. Like she talks to <laughs> stop, everybody, stop, bro. Stop. Like she's a um, she's a thought. She's a thought. What about Plain you? And simple. She's a chat line, Instagram. Yeah. Oh, bro. But that's it. how you met your baby mama. Me, and to keep it real, that's how I me, met me, you. Plenty of so kids, don't act like you don't be on the chat line. That was, that was how long ago, though, bro? It don't matter. Three, All right, Joshua, three, three, years ago, I want to get this on the record. On, you deny having sex with her little sister. Yeah. And deny having sex 
recently with your baby mama who's living exactly. with all of it. You deny it all. And you took a lie detector test. Yeah. Correct. Correct. But I think the ladies might have a different story to tell us. Well, let's bring somebody out. Let's get this together. Well, hold on now. Hold on. Let's do, let's do this. Please welcome Joshua's possible pregnant baby mama, Nicole. Come on out, Nicole. Ask the ground. You are lying. 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 For real? You really just going to sit up there and lie to her? They dragged you that drag, didn't they? You, you <laughs> turn around and you know between, while the time I was pregnant with our first son, your <laughs> over there between me and Paulina. Are you serious? Are you really just going to sit here and lie? Nicole, are you, you having sex with this man, your yep, baby daddy? Yep, are you are. Yep, yep, yep. Respond to that from that woman. Okay, so you, so you, you invited lay up in her in my your house, home. right? So you lay up in my house. You don't work. You don't go to school. You don't do nothing. You wash what my body wash that you sneak out of my room to wash your <laughs> So, so you just watch your language. Minute. My, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. You mean your body? But I'm getting, I'm getting a real upset and aggressive. Oh, I know. But don't here. be aggressive, honey. Don't be aggressive. Okay, because so you just bow. She just bow with a. So you recall that talk, like Paulina? You just bow. I could snatch your face off. I could snatch it out. Just snatch it out. I could snatch it out. Don't That's do okay, that. Though. Don't do that, honey. Don't That's do that, okay, honey. We're gonna be on campus for long. Why did you move? Right. Why did you move into her home? And then you, home, she a bum? Yep. You're a bum. Yep. She a bum. Well, How am I for her cootie cat can't get her three hundred dollars? She did you a big favor, rent, taking you in homeless, and you're having. And when the rules set, you can't have sex with my man. The rules were set. And did you break the rules, honey? I broke them. Why? And Why? She, Joshua, oh, <laughs> come on, deny. That's, 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 no. <laughs> that's a bunch of bull. Bill, sir, that's a bunch of bullcrap, man. You think that's baloney? It ain't, I didn't happen. Slap you Honest too. to God, bro. That's a damn lie. You are lying. So she is a liar. Let me move my chair over. Cause I'm you lie. Cause you know. Because you were sneaking around right. on Paulina when I was pregnant. You would sneak from her and come to me. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 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 When did these relate? Okay. Did these relations take place when she was in the home? That's what I want to know. I want to know, was I there? Was I well, where? But tell me, where was I? Was I at work, working, provide for y'all? Was I sleeping in my bed, getting sometimes a little bit Sometimes work and sometimes sleep. Girl, I know you ain't saying you did it in my house while I was in the bed sleep. Why would you do that to while your friend? While I was friend? in the bed sleep, too? She... While I was in the bed, you are a What, what, words, what, about what words am I allowed to say? I need to say something I can say. You I don't know what I can say right now. We have a lot more coming up, including Little Sister's going to be here next day right there. Today's all about lie detector tests and more. Let's be serious for a moment if we can. This woman took you into her home when you were homeless. You needed help. Nobody was there. And rules were set. You can't touch your baby daddy in her home during this relationship. Do you have any feelings in your heart you might have done something wrong? Some, some, and then some were like, Josh is a liar and a cheater. Some is what? Him? He's yeah. a liar and a cheater. But what does that have to do with your feelings, with you being in my house, while I'm providing for you? What does you, with him, you and him got to do with anything? You talk about you having enough respect for me and enough respect for your household that you're living in for free, and you cut the eyes at me again. Tell her. That's Wait what a minute, That's Josh, what we talking about. Tell her. That's what we're talking tell about. Tell her. You having respect. You too. You too. Yo, Don't you can't yeah. be sitting there to just sitting there about bro. You too. Does he look what? innocent or you, you, you the liar? You're the liar here. Man, Come on now. Right there, an you done played both parties for years. I mean, just tell the truth. Two, three can, years. Can you tell the truth without these lie detector tests being read? Can, can you just be real and be honest? honest? You I am real. But once. Ain't, you see ain't you never but fabricated, bro. Just be bro. honest. Be honest. Okay. Because you deny You haven't okay. cheated on her in two years, right? You need to be honest. You haven't cheated on this one. Exactly. No, but exactly. You have. You a liar. You're such a liar. It's so hard to believe it, though, when she's so crunk and... I you shall see. Said, you a liar. You always lie. We lying. shall see. You know, Let's do this. Let's get one more in the mix. Please welcome Carlina's younger sister, LaShawn, to the show. LaShawn, come on out. You didn't do nothing with me. That's why I was busting the wide open all up on you, boy. Don't play with Juicy. Don't play with Juicy. Don't play with Juicy. Hold on, wait a minute. But when I asked you, don't play with Juicy. Don't play with Juicy. But when I asked you, when you was you told me no. Okay? And? What you mean? What's the truth? I'm letting you know. 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 I'm
asked him. I'm when I asked him, I'm when I asked him, 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 when I who wouldn't lie about a bro? Like, what you mean? She was trying to make passes at me. I'm but, making passes but at you. Really? I have so you never, my room? ever, you ever my room hit that. Night. Never, never. You said don't tell her. I, I have never, never hit Idaho Mac and Tato. You said he came to my room last night. He was begging me not to say. What you were for? When I was, you was with me all night. What you happened? What happened last night? Don't try me like that. What happened last night? What happened last night? I was with her all night. No, you were with her all night. Yeah, right. Is he with you all night? I don't know. Apparently, they, they all have sex when I'm asleep. Yeah. Did you sleep with him in her home? You sure did. How many? How often has it gone on? How many times? I mean, a few they times. Just nasty, nasty, this is don't it. Nasty. Nasty. Did you know also they Ain't were they sleeping though. together? Nasty you too. What do you mean? Of course I know she's sleeping with him. Look yeah. at her. All your females are nasty, man. They're nasty. <laughs> Try oh, really? it. Wait a minute now. I'm nasty. So they're all, they're all yeah. nasty, but you're yeah, innocent. Yeah, man. You're innocent. Wait, innocent. You're innocent. Do you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? I am innocent, bro. But you're not. 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 But Let's you, Pauline, go, talk to your sister okay, and talk so, to her. So, 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 so I took you into, okay, we already discussed her. I took you in too. So you been sleeping with him too? I mean, it was a Okay, but how come when I asked you in the house, you always told me no. To stop thinking like that. You say it was just recreational sex and no love at all. No, uh, look at him. No, you can't I, get much what back one. Oh, your people sweetie. hooked you up. Her what? You, they hooked you up. They hooked you up. So don't front, because you me? ratchet, you I'm a ratchet thug. Th you be on me all the time. That's your three, sister, honey. That's your sister. It don't matter if you're three, four I, dudes I, I, coming out. I don't know what I'm coming out. It'd be a different dude every day. Different dude every day. You can't even get a pack of cigarettes or nothing. You think you cut up? What does he got that I want? Okay, but apparently what he got, because you're doing it so wide open, get it done. Nicole, are you pregnant right now, do you think? Yes, sure. So four why is he it? And why, why is you Did you lying, take a pregnancy? Bro? I ain't lying. Your butt is did lying. Did you take a pregnancy test? Yep, showed it. Okay. Showed I it. Showed it. Tell him, Bill. Well, I'll say you took a lot of tech, and you also have a two and a half year old boy together. Yeah. Yes, there's no, he denied that. You denied that. You denied that. Now, that now, fully. Um, no, when, with that, that situation, yeah. he told me she wasn't even pregnant. She was lying. She was delusional. Next thing when old girl come up, she got a baby in her hand. So and you took the test. You took the test. It never happened. Joshua. Find out she's pregnant today. What are you gonna do? You deny it, right? You deny having any sex with both these women. So that's why I believe, cause he lied so much. He's scared of me, I think. My whole issue is like, ain't nothing to do because she's not. She lied. Both of them are lying. Never happened. Never happened. All right, let's see. You never had sex with either one of them. We got the lie detector test lying. results. You we, lying. We got the pregnancy coming up and so much more. But I tell you what, at the end of the day, what do you do if it comes up that, in fact, he is having sex with your roommate you took in that was homeless and your 19-year-old sister? The same thing I told you before. They better build them an igloo and get a snow jacket and get to sleeping outside. That's what they're going to be. You won't be sleeping in my house. You won't be sleeping in my house. If you, if you if you all get kicked out, will you two hook up together? Is you know that possible? No. 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 Not gonna happen. So I'm, I'm gay. I like girls. Hey. 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 How is you gay? It's okay, and how you and how you so innocent. That doesn't make no sense. Don't make no sense. How is you so innocent? 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 No, you can't. Hey, anything that comes, anything that goes, you ain't getting help. Desperation. Later on, lie detector test results. Is she pregnant or not? A lot more coming up. Stay right there. If her husband isn't sleeping with her. Once a week, for God's sake. I got, I mark it on.
on the calendar. How can I have sex with you if you don't shut your mouth ever? Who is he sleeping with? I go 12 hours. Why do you turn down, down my... You me of me. Why do you turn down my... cheating, the other woman, my anything. boss, and then, and then you're like, oh, you want to go have sex? You Hell no. Yes. If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live. For your free tickets to a taping in New York City, go to our website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free. A wife is supposed to stand by her husband for better or worse. But what if worse includes cheating with a man? Please welcome Katie to the show. Katie, how you doing? All right, now. Katie, why are you here today? I got married two weeks ago. Two weeks? Two weeks to today. And I have had sex twice with my husband. In two weeks? In two weeks. Um, there's absolutely no reason why he should not be sleeping with me. He goes to work for 12 to 14 hour, hours a day. And when paycheck time comes around, he's got like 30 hours on his paycheck. There's so you no sit down with your sister and figure out, wait a minute, he's gone 12, 14 hours a day, Mike's working his tail off, but the paycheck reflects five hours and not 12. Oh, yeah, we clock it. We clock it from the time he leaves the house to the time he comes home. I give him an hour for lunch every day, an hour for drive time, everything. And he's still off by about 15, 20 hours a week, easy. What does Mike say about this? He, he defends it. Mike spent quite a bit of time behind bars. And I believe if you spent that much time behind bars, I'm sorry, there's just no way. You never had any type of physical contact. I mean, I'm talking 10 years plus. Yeah, but before, no way. before you got married two weeks ago, you had to have known a lot of his history because you were like a caseworker for Mike. Yeah, I was his case manager at a homeless shelter. I was. And so you knew what you were getting into. Yeah. And he spent years in jail for various mm -hmm. drug offenses. Mm -hmm. And you think something went on in prison mm -hmm. that continued after he got out. Well, I didn't think that until he stopped having sex with me. And, and he, he says, says I, I complain too much. Yes, he thinks I cheat. When me and him got together, it was probably about six months ago, me and him broke up. I moved out of the house. We were living in different cities, and I had sex with my ex-husband. We were not living together anymore at all, at all. We had no communication, nothing anymore. And I decided I didn't want to be with my ex-husband anymore, so I called Mike up, and he took me back, and now he thinks I'm apparently sleeping with everybody else, but it's not me, it's him. Isn't it against yeah. the rules for a caseworker to be sleeping with... One of your... Uh... I wasn't sleeping with him when he was staying there. He actually left before we made an actual relationship. So you made the connection, yeah. then you consummated it later on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is, is it worse in your mind, the dishonesty, or is it the cheating? Because if he's bisexual or gay, so be it. <laughs> but is it the dishonesty and not coming clean? What is it? I could probably forgive him if he cheated with a woman. Maybe. I don't even know if I could. If it's a man, I'm done. That is just... I mean, I, I have nothing against gay people, but that is nasty. Don't marry me if you're gay. All right. Don't and, marry me if you're gay. That's just nasty. And Another thing, <laughs> is there a money issue here about your settlement? Do you think he might be staying with yeah. you for the money? I got into an accident, and I was told I was going to get quite a bit of money, and all of a sudden he wanted to marry me really quick. I had questions about it. My sister said, don't do it. I did it anyways. After we got married, I found out it's not going to be as much as I thought it was, and all of a sudden now he has, he don't even sleep in the same bed with me anymore. So the dollar <laughs> signs may have left the marriage, yeah. and now, in a sense, Mike has left the marriage. So you think, yeah, he, you yeah. think money might be at the root of this? I think he's using me for my money. He'll say what money, but I mean, He took a lie detector test. Yeah, he did. All right, please welcome Katie's husband, Mike, to the show. Mike, come on in. <laughs> You're a cheater. Just sit down. Gay? Just sit down. Yes, you're gay. Cheating? You're gay. I go out and work 12 hours a day. Then where's the money? Day, Katie? Then where's the money? Every where's day. Where's the money? Where's the money? The money comes home every Friday. No, it doesn't. You're every like $300 Friday. short but every single week, Michael. Listen. $300 short. Where's listen. your money? And then for you to say I'm I, gay? My, have you why lost you your sex mind? With me? Why do you not have sex with me? Because I... Because I've been in prison, I'm gay. All, no, all people you that went to prison me. are gay. Why do you not have sex you know with me, I mean? Michael? And don't, and don't get me wrong. No offense to any gay people. That's just not me. Then why won't and you have sex And for you to say that, that's I what try makes... I every and single then, night and, then, and you And then you want to be intimate with it. You want... I, I go 12 why hours. Why do you turn, I turn it down, Mike? You accuse me of being why gay, you turn down, cheating, the other because woman, my boss. And then, and then you're like, oh, do you want to go have sex? You should Hell say yes. Why would I want to do that? Don't you have sex with her? This is, you're, you're a lovely newlywed couple. Why aren't you two having weeks. relations? Two, two weeks. weeks we've been together. Because what of that now. Because of this. Because of this. Why this are you is serious? Why? I tried. You won't give it to me. If you would give it to me, my mouth would stop running. And if you running. think I'm so gay, why do you want to sleep with me? Katie? Mike, have a seat, Mike. 
I don't well, know. Right, what about the and money? And then the settlement money. What about I could that? care less about that money. That is her You thought she was getting this much. She's getting this much. No, Bill. No, no. You don't even sleep in the same bed That is all wrong. It's just out. And, and let me clear something up on this. I rushed to marry her. Oh, my God. I had one day off. She <laughs> said, let's go get a marriage certificate, and we got to get married today. <laughs> right now, today. If we don't do it today, I'm getting rid of the marriage certificate. So you know what I had to do? I had to call every preacher in the phone book and find a $100 preacher and go get married right then. Now, she rushed that, well, why not you me. me? Why but you marry me? Don't though? get me wrong. Me though, I love my wife. Why and not I, have sex with you? Love you. Why not have sex with your wife? Am I that ugly? Am I gross? Do I not She's an attractive you? woman. Apparently, because I'm gay. <laughs> Is that the reason? Apparently. All right. It isn't oh being God. gay or bisexual. It's an it's an issue of honesty and being honest with somebody. Are you gay or bisexual? No, did, sir. Did you take a lie detector test? Yes, sir. Are you with her for the money, for the big settlement? No, sir. Do you love that girl? I love her with everything I have, and she knows Then you I would have do. sex with me. My what? Husband, once a week. Once a week, for God's sake. I got, I mark it on the calendar. We have sex every five days. How can, I, how can I have sex with you if you don't shut your mouth ever? I mean, what? <laughs> really? It's not even funny. Do you think she's it's cheating on you, Mike? You, you had her take a lot of time. I'm going to have to be, be, I'm gonna have to be honest. Do Give it to me. I, I, don't believe she, I don't believe she is cheating But you made her take a lot of time. I believe she has. And, and she wants to say, we had no communication when she slept with her husband. I got 200 text messages that says different. Really? What do the text messages say? Everything and anything. Really? Is that true, Katie? It was after. Tell him the truth. After I slept with my ex-husband and I decided I wanted to be with Mike, yes, there's probably quite a few text messages. What Thank did, you. All right, let me ask you this. How long is this total relationship and, and listen, been? How long? And, and, you, and she said she didn't sleep with me when my case manager. Yeah. Don't be out here lying. Oh, my God, yes, Mike. Yes, did. did you we did not have a relationship until Did you sleep you with your ex when you were with Mike? Yes, absolutely. You did, and yes. he knows about it. Yes, because we weren't taking leave together. But yes, he knows about that. But I also, why she kissed I also so kissed, called I also friend. kissed a friend she of mine when friend. we were not living together on a different, different occasion. He moved down to his own apartment, everything. So and you did, were you, did you not tell your ex-girlfriend that you were still in love with her? I did. Okay, so now what? You were inviting her to your house. If you wouldn't have came to my house that night, she was coming to your house. But, here, but, but the truth is, the truth is... You're the only one that stepped outside this relationship. We weren't in a Me, relationship. never. We were not in a and relationship. I'm telling you right now, we Katie, were not in this a relationship. stuff has to stop. Well, yeah, after you got to stop cheating on me. After this lie detector test today, you're going to find out I'm not cheating. Mm. All Period. Right. I hope All right, let's do this. I hope you ain't. Katie's sister is going to put Mike on blast, oh, and that's next. Stay right there. <laughs> the proof is piling up. Today's about cheating and more. So the point is this. You've been together about a year. Mm -hmm. And during that year, you had some separations up. Do you think like she, it was a shotgun wedding that she like forced you to marry her about two weeks ago? And that if you didn't do it, something bad was going to... I, I can't her? say that she forced me because I do love her. I do and I do want to settle down. But does this make any kind of sense for me to rush and marry you because so you that I can I'm go cheat? Money. Because you know I'm getting money and you think if we're married, my money is your money. Don't even lie. I mean, you told me when I, I tried to work. settle, you said that's my money too, Katie. Katie that's Katie, exactly what you said. That's because, my money because too. Because my work money, the money that I work for every day, is that not our because money? I take care of the house and okay. I do everything and I, I can. Never, I can't and, work I never, right now. and I did say that. I did say, yeah, your money is my money too. But if our money is our money, our money is our money. I didn't say that to take your money. I don't care about your money. I think you should have to sleep with me. I do not care. my money, dude. I do not care about your money. pay my husband to sleep with me? Okay. Do I got to start paying you to have sex with me? How was that, that, how was that sexy? How was what sexy? This. What you're if doing you right now. If you were to have sex with me, this mouth would stop. Well, hey, Bill, I come home from work. I do this until 10 o'clock at night. Because every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. day. He won't touch from me. He won't tell me I'm beautiful. He And then at 10 5, she's like, do you want to go have sex? What? He is lying through his teeth. Please welcome Katie's sister, Whitney, to the show. Whitney, come on out. Oh, God. <laughs> you can bring this Facebook, then you bring this Facebook phantom on here. <laughs> look, look, look. Whitney, what's going look, on in this relationship? This is my blood. My sister's not going to be treated yes. like this no more. No more. So you're here today to confront, confront him. Look, tell yeah. him. Tell I want to know if he's cheating. I want to know if he's cheating with a man or a woman. I don't care. 
log his hours, don't we? We log his hours from the time he walks out the door. I give him an hour to get to work. I give him an hour at lunch. So you two work, work on this? We, yes, we, we do. We, we, we log do. his hours. We, we, we log his hours. Is this my who wife or is this my wife? You married the family. If he's working 15 hours a day, he brings home $100. These girls get together and make up fake Facebook pages. And fake. I'm going to catch up. I'm going to catch up. I'm going to catch up. No, and whatever we can do on the phone to make the text look like it comes from a different number. And then she's like, hey, how's your day going? How have you been? And I say, okay. Oh, I got it. 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 Oh, is going to be hurting. Hurting. Yes. Because you, you, you love Facebook your sister. At home. <laughs> is Mike good for Katie? I, I don't know. I don't know him very well. What I have known when we are together, he, he is a good man. But what's going on after that? What's going on when he leaves the house and my sister's sitting there crying her eyes out because her man won't text her, her man won't call her. How are you going to work for 12 hours and never call you know your wife to let her know that you even made it to hey, work on time? Both of you got too much time on your hands. You both got too much time on your hands. All I know is you're married for two weeks. Who ain't going to make love to that? Who is it? Man or woman? I'm going to work for 10 or 12 hours working my butt off. If he comes back, that it is. What if he passes, Whitney? What if this man's pure as the German snow? If he passes, I will get on my knees and say sorry. But what if he flunks it? What do you do, honey? If he better get the security out. Here, let's talk about this. That's all I gotta say. Get the security out. Hold on, Whitney. Katie, what's in your heart right now? I love him so much. Look at this. So much. I love you. I love you. Talk for a minute. That's your problem. You want to act like I talk all the time? You want to shut your mouth? I love you. So why do you push me away like that? Because if you're not having sex with me, you must be having sex with other women. Is she cheating on him? No, I am never. Cheating. My sister will tell me everything. She took a lie detector. We will be in the bathroom talking on the phone. Okay? Why don't you call her at work? Call her from work now me. and then. Oh, you want to get to that, too? Just once a day. Oh, My I didn't even know we were going there. She's cheating. Yeah. I will, I'll give her a kiss when I leave and go to work. She wants me to call her when I get in the truck, when I get to the job site, uh, at, at my first break, at my so break, uh, five minutes so before lying. I leave home. She and call so me lying. on your way home so, so I know that you're on your no, way home. No, because no, he wants to know. No, 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 she wants to know that you got to work okay. She wants to know when you're on break so she can say, baby, I love you. When you're going to be home, I'll have and dinner I ready. When you're leaving, I'll so have your laundry done. She wants Let's resolve all the issues. The really? lie detector tests are next, plus the pregnancy test. Stay right there. Over my dead body. I got my sister's back till I am dead in the ground. Ain't nothing gonna happen to her. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425 now. We've had just about every possible cheating accusation rolled into one. It's time to get to the truth. I have the lie detector test results right here. And, and the pregnancy test results. So hold on. I want to go to you first, Mike. Uh, okay. There's been some accusations of possible uncertain sexual preferences. And so I think it's good to ask the question. You want to ask. Your sister, you want to ask too, right? You want to know. I want to know. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Oh my God. Number one, Mike. Yep. Because of these suspicions, are you gay or bisexual? You said no. That was the truth. Oh, thank God. What? What? I'm going to apologize. I'm going to apologize. No, get off me. No, I love you. I love you. I love you. Wait a minute now. All right. Honey, don't hug him. Don't hug him too tight. Well, don't hug him too tight. I ain't doing that. Two more. Oh my God. Now, Mike. Oh my goodness! Thank God you're not there kidding. There was an allegation because of this injury case that she has going on, and the big settlement, which has been reduced, that okay. possibly you married her for the money. Never. So we ask you this question, Mike. Did you marry Katie for her settlement money? You said no, and that was the, the truth. truth. Oh, thank you.
Wow, one more. Hold on, one more. And number three. One more, one more. And to one me, one here's more. the big one, Mike. Here's the one big more. one. Hold on, honey. Since you and Katie have been together, have you had any form of sexual contact with anyone other than Katie? And this goes back about a year. Absolutely. You said no, and that was the truth. But you know, you never, always you know I love you. Sex with me every now and again. Then. You know I love. If you if you stop accusing me of stuff, maybe I will. Mike, yeah, I can't only have sex with me now. Mike, you wanted Katie to take a lie detector test, right? Yeah, but you I wanted Katie it to take it. Katie, since you and Mike have been together, have you been on dating sites? He knows I have been though. You admitted that you have been on dating yeah, sites before we before we got really serious. You already knew that though. Since you've been together, number two. Since you and Mike have been together. Have you had any contact with your ex-husband? And he knows I already did that too. You admit it, you did that too. But number three, Katie, since you and Mike have been together, have you had sexual contact with anyone other than Mike? He knows about my ex-husband. You admit it to that. Yeah. You admit it. You had dating, sex yeah. on dating sites, and also you admit it, you had contact with your ex. Yeah. So, but he knew about now, that. Though. And now I get called here because she thinks I'm cheating, but yet the, te the test don't lie. You she is the only, you are the only one you that stepped outside this relationship. Because we work together. Ever. Because we work together. Ever. If you don't start having sex with me, I'm going to have to fight somebody else to have you sex with you. You have sex with You heard the result. Oh, we can together, somebody. together, <laughs> not together. When you left and went with your ex-husband, I still didn't step outside the relationship. <laughs> okay, we have the results here. Let's turn this way. This is a complicated case. You have suspicions that your man is having sex with your 19-year-old, your sister, yep. and also with his baby mama, who you invited into your home because she was homeless. Yep. And today we're going to find out all the truth. Plus, there's an allegation, Nicole, you might be pregnant, turn. four months pregnant. So let's get the pregnancy test out of the way first. And you took the test today, correct? Nicole, you are not pregnant. I told you. I told everybody. I told you. You just want to be homeless again? But I was the bad guy. Right. Through all but, you're like, but, but you're not but innocent. You still, you still got the baby together. Oh, you're wrong. You still got the baby together. 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 Got one. I didn't got one kid. So what? That just made me. Your boy got her kids crashing down. What the main question? You ain't even sick. Is she pregnant or not? Okay. Okay. That's enough. Let's go to your lie detector, Joshua. Let's go to your lie detector, Joshua. And just to make the record straight, you did not have sex with her sister or yeah, with okay. your baby mama in her home, correct? Correct. All right, number one, in the last oh, six months, Joshua, house. hold on, in the last six months, Joshua, have you had sexual contact with Paulina's little sister, LaShawn? You said no in the last six months, and that was the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Because you kept telling me over and over again, accusing me of sleeping with him. Why would, you, wanted, why would you lie to your sister you like that? You kept telling me over and over again. You look she bad. creeping up on me, asking, are you sleeping with me? Okay, so why so would you not get in my bed then? Because he wasn't but even at the house. I was lying. I, I was lying, though. No. Joshua. Well, but you know now. But you, not, but you know on. now. Let's say this. You your little now. sister lied about having sex with <laughs> Come on, number two, Joshua. In the last six months, have you had any kind of sexual contact with your ex-girlfriend, Nicole? Baby mama, you said no. That was a lie. A lie? So you've been sleeping with Nicole in your home. Okay. See, I ain't getting Nicole, my how long's it been going on? Oh, well. I mean, what you got to say? He's a liar. Because I knew, I, I knew, I knew. You. So, He's okay. So is this, when you was, this is when you was telling me about? I told you she was going to find out. You didn't see his teller. What you ready for me? Oh, oh, Joshua. Oh, she lying. I she have found, lying. I have found years doing this show that confession is good for the soul, and Paulina Just may accept a Just heartfelt tell apology. She's like dead. Just tell uh -uh. In the past six months, have you had sexual contact with anyone other than Paulina and Nicole? You said no, and that was a lie. Oh. So then, so then, 
it. I so did. You tell me. Hold on. What you about, just need to tell what about that. I told clean? you that. You need to shut up too far and wring your neck. That's what you need to do. You don't need to be all crunk like it's all that. Joshua, you come to, clean. Don't, don't play. Ain't nothing to come clean about. Confession where, is good. Where have I been? You flunk. <laughs> you clearly what you have mean? been in her bed. You know where you and your been? Come on, bro. I work all the time. Okay, okay, I got it. You've been in her bed. I got you get SSI, you don't even yeah, work, bro. And I work too. And I work too. Come on, Help man. is on and the I way. Stick too. around. Help is on the yeah, way. You gonna Has the wedding date been set? But there's a reason you cannot get married. Is it time to tell your spouse to be why you're calling off the wedding? Come do it on our show. Contact me at BillCunningMShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95... Nurse accused. A spouse off the hook. Have you had any form of sexual contact? You said no, and that was the truth. Yeah! No! I am sorry. A cheater revealed. Have you had any kind of sexual contact with your baby mama? You said no. That was a lie. I mean, what you got to say? He's a liar. I, I told you she was going to find out. You just didn't tell him. We heard some explosive lie detector test results, and here to help us put the pieces back together is relationship expert Tia Brown. Tia. Now, Tia, we just had Joshua exit at stage left. He's not with us anymore. But uh, he's very upset. I don't know what's going to happen later in the show, but where does this family go? Where does this family, where does Paulina go right. from Right, I mean, well, the first thing I have to say is violence is not the answer. It is. I yeah. know that you're very upset. You're hurt. This is embarrassing. Oh, I hurt. And it's disappointing, but it's obvious that he couldn't face up with accountability to a situation, and that's why he left. So the biggest thing is, what's next for you? The first thing that concerned me, honestly, is beyond the cheating, is the fact that you're being the caretaker to three healthy adults. Yeah. Right? So why are all of these people mooching off of you? Right? Why do you feel Paulina, like... Paulina, why is that? Yeah, why do you feel like I mean, and that's just the type of person I, I am. Too. I like my house a certain way. I like certain stuff a certain way. If people don't want to go out there and get it. I mean, big they, they have like little... You can they have little jobs, but don't break him up. Right. But yeah, you can, you're, you're you can have a big heart and be supportive, yeah. but you are also important. Right? So it's not okay for people to just take and not give. And you see these people are not giving back financially, emotionally, or with respect. Tia, what about Nicole's behavior with her baby daddy in literally the bed in which right. Paulina, who this took is, her in, sleeps? This is the biggest act of disrespect that I've ever seen. You have a stranger who took you in to be supportive during a very difficult time in your life, and you're being very flippant about not only just taking advantage of her financially, but sleeping with her, her man. And it's not right. Why do you think that it's okay? to treat people who've been loving to you in a bad way. And I can see that you're hurt, thinking about how you felt. But people don't connect how they felt with how they're making someone well, else feel. we'll deal with that in aftercare. What about oh. Mike and Katie? Katie put Mike on blast. Katie. And Mike passed with Hi, flying colors. First of all, I have to say, this sister wife stuff has to end, right? Yeah. I know you love your sister to death. All the guys are back. No, and you should all have back. her back. You should have her back in silence. In terms of the relationship, yeah, but though. I bring her into it. It my so fault. I do stop. bring her into it. You need to stop. You guys can talk. You but can give her tips. But he don't talk to me. But so and you know, you know what's the very her. interesting thing about conflict? To, you don't stop. Right. You hear what he says? And you hear but what she I love says? You. He, she wants everything to go her way. I want him to have sex with me when I want sex. I want him to listen when I want him to listen. I want him to give me his check. I want to know exactly where he is. A relationship is about both parties. Listen to some of his needs as well. He's proven to you that he's being faithful and trustworthy. And you know what? You're saying it's still not enough. So how is this going to work? It's not just about what you want. It's about what works in the relationship. All right, good point. And Absolutely. Let's see an after ten. When we continue, the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. in a relationship, here's the bottom line. It's bad enough when you enter into a committed relationship and then betray that commitment. But when you're engaged or married, straying into the arms of another is inexcusable. So think twice before committing to marriage because you may not get a second chance. I want to thank all my guests for coming in and I'll see you the next time.
I don't want to look like a dumb female, but I like sex, you know what I'm saying? And so until I find the next person that I feel comfortable with, that, you know, then I'm going to continue to do this, but there ain't going to be no relationship. And it ain't going to be like that. I'm just being honest. It's good. The sex is good. <laughs> That's it, just sex. It is sex, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not, but I'm not upset. I'm not upset in the least, honestly. I'm not, I ain't worried about it. 